All right, so I want to show you another one of my favorite tools for UDL, and that is the one that you see here. This is Diffit. It's free for educators. It is great for creating leveled resources um, and for generating texts. Now, it uh, has so many different uses, so I'm really just going to show you a small little snippet, the tip of the iceberg, so to speak. So I can actually start by just asking a question. I'm going to ask it, why did the Lewis and Clark expedition happen? Now I can choose an approximate reading level for the output here. Um, and again, it goes from elementary all the way up. So I'm going to start with third grade. I'm going to click generate resources. I'm going to wait for just a moment. And it's going to give me not only a whole bunch of resources, but I can also connect my Google account to Diffit, and it's actually going to produce slides for me. Um, if I don't want to produce slides, but I want to share this with my teaching partner, I'll also have the opportunity to uh, download it as a PDF. Of course, I can also just copy, paste, and share. And it also has lots of different languages to pick from too. So if I wanted to create a little mini support guide for the parent and caretaker audience, and I wanted to do that in a variety of languages, I can do that. Now, of course, what I love about Diffit is it also has the edit button. So I can come in here uh, with the adapted reading passage that it's created and I can make changes. I've also got, I love this, key vocabulary words, multiple choice questions, open-ended prompts, short answer questions. Now, all of that is great, but here's the thing that I get really excited about. When I click export and share, here's lots of different things that I can have it generate. A bubble map graphic organizer, prayer model, vocabulary interactive slides, um, again, there's a lot here. And just to kind of give you, um, as I mentioned, it, it, I've already connected mine to my Google Slides. So if I want it to generate a compare and contrast workbook, I'm going to select that. It tells me the standards that it's connected to. I click open with slides and in under a minute, it's going to generate those slides for me. So again, UDL is all about offering students flexibility, right? Um, making sure that they've got multiple different opportunities to demonstrate their learning. And while that's easy to say, sometimes it's really hard to do as teachers because it means there's so many different resources that we have to generate. With a tool like this, I'm saving lots of time. So I'd encourage you to check out this tool play around with it. Um, as I mentioned, it is also really, really wonderful for getting level resources. So let's say I've got a Lewis and Clark video. And again, if I've got a PDF or a URL reading, I can select that instead. And here we go. I've got some leveled resources to support viewing of that video. And again, let's say I want to change it to Spanish or I want to change it to a different grade level. I can just regenerate. So if I've got students with different reading levels, I can make sure that I am offering a whole spectrum of support for students. So that's having a look at Diffit. Um, it's a great tool, again, and you'll notice that it even gives you, it gives most folks access to check out their premium features as well. But I will say that actually a lot of their free support, I'm a big fan of. Hope that helps.